Almost a year ago, we made our very first fathead pizza. If you haven't seen that video, check it out in the link above. It's become a family favorite, even for our kids who don't do keto. Today, we're gonna to be making two specialty pizzas, a barbecue chicken with bacon and red onion, and a roasted garlic Parmesan with chicken and red peppers. We have a lot of experience making fathead pizzas. We've learned some great tips that we're excited to share with you. So hang around, let's make some pizza. The recipe, the macros, and all the items we use will be linked in the description below, as well as on bonsaikido.com. Let's start with the ingredients. We tend to do most of our shopping at Costco, but any store will do. You're gonna need shredded mozzarella cheese, almond flour, salt, white wine vinegar, eggs, and cream cheese. We're gonna start by melting one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese and two tablespoons of cream cheese for approximately 40 to 60 seconds. You'll want to mix this well before putting in the rest of the ingredients. It smells wonderful. It's a little gooey. Now we're going to mix in three-fourths cup of almond flour, one egg, a half a teaspoon of salt, and the last is one tablespoon of white wine vinegar. We get asked this question a lot. The white wine vinegar will actually act as a rising agent for the almond flour. Don't worry, you're not gonna taste it. If you don't wanna use it, you don't have to use it. Or if you wanna sub apple cider vinegar, it's all good. Now on to the mixing. I love my KitchenAid mixer. It has plenty of power and the dough hooks are easy to clean. Here's a great tip. When you're done mixing your ingredients, put your dough in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes. This will cool down your dough, it'll firm it up, and it'll make it much easier when you're pulling your parchment off the top of your dough. I have my chilled dough out of the freezer. This makes one batch. I'm separating it into two balls to make two smaller pizzas versus one large pizza. You want to take a second piece of parchment paper, place it on top, and smush it just a bit. I'm going to use my rolling pin, which I love because it gives me a nice even dough every time I use it. The secret? The adjustable rings. This allows you to create your own thickness for your pizza. I'm using thin, so I'm going with the purple. Having the dough chilled makes peeling the parchment a breeze. The next tip, get yourself a pizza docker. It's gonna be linked in the description below. This saves a lot of time and energy. Who wants a big pillow for your pizza? So much easier. Now we're gonna place our dough in the oven for 10 minutes. Remember, it's preheated at 400 degrees.
For today's pizzas, we're going to make a barbecue chicken with mozzarella cheese and our chicken strips from Costco. And we're going to do a white sauce roasted garlic parmesan with chicken and that we're going to use Italian blend cheese. The first one we're going to do is a roasted garlic parmesan. We have an ounce and a half of sauce. We're going to add two ounces of chicken. Just going to spread that around. Red pepper. Going to add a little on the bottom. We have Italian blend cheese. This is an ounce and a half. And add a little bit more green red pepper, excuse me. The second one is Bill's favorite. It is going to be a barbecue pizza. Oh, this barbecue sauce smells wonderful. We have an ounce and a half of barbecue sauce, two ounces of chicken, and then we're using mozzarella cheese for this one. Ounce and a half, a little more, a little less, depends on what you like. Smells wonderful, my goodness. And we're gonna top this off with red onion. We're gonna put this back into your 400 degree oven for 12 minutes. Bill asked for bacon, I forgot. Back into the oven it goes. So here's the finished product. This is my barbecue chicken with bacon and red onion. I love the barbecue sauce is sweet and the red onion gives a little bit of a bite. It's a nice contrast and it tastes <laughs> wonderful. I love the crust on this. It's, it's firm enough. I mean, I'm holding a piece of pizza. Uh, it's firm enough and I'm going to try it right now. Oh my gosh. Do you love it? <laughs> That's awesome. I used to really like the Jets pizza, barbecue pizza from Jets. I'm telling you, this is better. That's really good. <laughs> I'm going to be trying the roasted garlic parmesan with chicken and red pepper. Again, nice and firm. <clears throat> mm. That's good. You want to try the barbecue? No, thank you. I want to try the parmesan. <laughs> I knew you would. Let's see. Crust again. Looks really good. I think you've just nailed this at this point. You've done enough of them. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure about the roasted garlic -y yeah. or Alfredo y kind of thing. I like the red pepper too. That's really good. It's good. We have a hit. So I love our regular fathead pizza, and we make that all the time. But now we're just kind of branching out and trying some new things. Let us know what you've tried, what you put on your pizzas, and anything you want to see us try. Yeah, put it in the comments below. We'll definitely give it a try. We're always tweaking and playing with stuff and trying new things. Always. So yeah, let us know and we'll do it. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One more time. Oh, okay. Almost a year ago, we made him stop. <laughs> he could give you laughing. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Almost a year ago, we made our very first fathead pizza. <laughs> it's fast become a family favorite, even for our kids who don't do keto. Pizza. It's become a family favorite, even for our kids who don't do keto. I've learned a few trips. Shit. Sorry. It's okay. Am I supposed to talk? Yeah. Oh, okay. On to the dough. We're going to start by melting one and a half cups of melted... Shredded is what I meant to say. I'm just not even going to put shredded. It's okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs>